everyone, I'm Angela Martinez. Welcome to Crafters Coast to Coast. Inspiration can come from anywhere. Some crafters seem to pluck their ideas right out of thin air. Others may get inspiration from a pile of recycled junk. But wherever you get your ideas, you can make great crafts and have fun doing them. We're out to Massachusetts now to meet an artist who works with recycled cans. This is one sharp craft. Take a look. Okay, go check it, check. I'm Anna Johansson from Boston, Massachusetts, and I make these metal roosters. Because here in Boston, we don't get the real thing. So come on, I'll show you how. So this is the rooster that I make out of uh, cans and tins that I find. I think it's cock doodle time. I started making birds because I doodle. I'm a doodler. And I, I doodle all these fantastic, imaginary, weird bird forms. First, I start with a drawing of the bird I want to make. It helps give me a general sense of the size and the shapes that I'm going to use. And from there, I build a paper sculpture. Just take paper, and I start taping it, cutting it to give me a, more of a sense of, 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 of the three-dimensional form. I flatten it, I cut them up, it's pretty violent. And that gives me these general shapes that I can use to make patterns out of. This piece I've labeled, it is called the neck back type area, because I really don't know the different parts of a rooster. <laughs> An area you might be able to recognize a little more easy is how I've described his tail. And I wanted to try to get a lot of color and texture back there. So I broke it down to two different shapes, which are going to be riveted together. These are exceedingly sharp when I cut them out of metal. So I could, in essence, <laughs> use them as some sort of samurai uh, warrior weapon. The fun part for me is I can look through my whole collection of tins. I'm not keeping the shape anymore. I cut it up and reuse it. So I took a trick from our kindergarten. I made my own imaginary, fantastic bird-making crown. People might think it's a little weird, but it's really nice for me. So I'm going to get going here, and I'm going to open up this can so I can use it. Always wear gloves. I don't like to wear gloves. These have really um, tough ridges. That's where my immense strength comes in handy. The crown makes me stronger. That round can is now what I can use. It's like plain material at this point. So this is when I get my trusty little uh, pattern. And I've already decided that I want this to be that, that back area for the rooster. So it's very faint, but I've traced the pattern there. And now I'm just going to cut it out using that same tool. So now I have to form this and round it to make what I want it to be. So you can start to see now how it's like this three-dimensional thing. His um, comb is going to go here, so this is really going to be the top of his head. You know, and I'll start doing the other shapes, because I need to make sure that they all fit together. This is a fancy new can opener. I'm a pretty uh, cheap date, because uh, you can give me a can opener. I'll be the happiest girl in the world. You can start to see him already, right? Just, I haven't even put him together yet. I have the best tool. Instead of um, using a sharp nail and a hammer and banging a hole in it, I got this other tool, which will help me make these holes. The rivets are awesome. Magically fastened, just like that. Next, drumsticks. I'm gonna rivet that. So I'm just going to solder this in there. Every thigh needs a, le a leg, I guess. I'm going to use a vise, but I love tools. Right now, he won't stand up. See, he'll just, he's very front heavy. So the tail will balance him out. So I'm going to cut these two out, rivet them together, and then attach them to this back piece here. And this is really stylized. I mean, I, I could. I kind of like the simplicity of it. Twice. It's a big fat tail, big old claws. He's totally balanced. I'm a very happy girl right now. So all I got to do is add the comb and the beak. 
and we're set. Here he is, and I'm, I can't wait to make a lot more so I can have this whole room filled with roosters, and hopefully I can figure out how to insert a little a mechanism so that they can all... Who says you have to go out and spend lots of money on crafting supplies? Use what you already have, save dollars, and help the environment.